Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the show, we're going to make strawberry and banana cheesecake trifle. So we need to get our strawberries ready. Wash my strawberries real good, took the tops off, sliced them up, and put them in a bowl. Now, my strawberries look weird because I have to peel my strawberries with a little paring knife like you do potatoes because some of us can't have the seeds that's on the outside for diverticulitis issues. And the reason I do it so we can still have some of our favorite fruit. So we got our strawberries in the bowl, a pound of strawberries, and they weren't as sweet because it's not really summertime when they're really sweet. So I'll put a couple tablespoons of Splenda, you can use regular sugar, and then two tablespoons of sugar-free seedless strawberry jelly to kind of give it a little bit more strawberry taste. And then I gotta put a little bit of boiling water over to kind of melt my jelly into the strawberries and everything. So probably about a fourth of a cup, two to four tablespoons of water. If you wanna don't do this and just do your strawberries and put some of that strawberry pie filling you get in a little bag, you could do that instead. I'm gonna add just a touch more because all this strawberry flavor is gonna be soaked up in the cake that I'm using. And I did hot water to melt that strawberry jelly that I used. All right, I'm just gonna leave it sitting and let them sit while I work on other stuff. Let's work on our cheesecake pudding mixture that we're gonna be using. I'll be using two boxes of cheesecake jello pudding and sugar free. You don't have to use the sugar free. You can choose any kind of pudding flavor you want it to be vanilla or white chocolate if you're not really into cheesecake. And this is a one ounce box, both of them. So it's two ounces together. And I'm just following the back of the package where it says each box takes two cups of milk, so we're gonna need four cups of milk. And this is the instant pudding. And then just wanna beat it with a mixture until it combines and I'll start thickening it up a little bit. It's a little bit still runny, but that's how instant pudding is. You let it sit for five or ten minutes and it'll keep thickening up. So we'll just put this off to the side and I'll get ready for the other step that we need to complete before we start building the trifle. Alright, now let's make our fresh whipped cream for the trifle. I put my KitchenAid bowl and the beater in the refrigerator overnight so we get ice cold. If you don't have time, then just stick it in the freezer for about 20 minutes. I got some heavy whipping cream. I'm going to need two cups of it. And your whipping cream has to be ice cold too. So don't take anything out of the fridge or if you have the bowl in the freezer until you get ready to make it. One fourth cup of sugar. I'm using Splenda. You sweeten it to your taste. You can use regular sugar. You can use honey. Any other sugar that you want. Date sugar, coconut sugar. Then I need a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just going to eyeball it because we love vanilla. And then we're going to turn our mixture on. We're going to start mixing and see if it's close. And we're going to keep increasing the heat. And we're going to beat it till it's almost 50. And then we're done. All right, it's done. When it really sits up like this, and it's fluffy, and it holds its peaks real good, like a stiff peak, then it's done. See how stiff it is and it holds its peak? Then you're done. All right, let's build our trifle. Now, for our cakey part, I'm using sugar-free angel food cake mix that I picked up at Walmart. Or you can do a pound cake, just a yellow cake mix, bake it off, whatever you want to do. And then here's your bananas. I've got three bananas that was sliced up, and then I sliced a lemon in half and squeezed half of a lemon over my bananas and tossed them. That keeps them from browning on you. 
I just tore apart my angel food cake with my fingers into bites. You can cube it up with a knife if you want to. However you want to do it. We're going to do a layer on the bottom of cake. And then we're going to cut up with some of our strawberries. And that's why I wanted a lot of juice so it'll soak down in my little cubes of angel food cake. We're just going to put a layer of that on there. We're just building layers. We've got some strawberries down. Let's come with some pudding. This is our cheesecake pudding. And we're coming with some banana. Gonna spread them out a little bit. We're gonna put some whipped topping, our first whipped cream that we made. And just spread it out. And then we're gonna come another layer with our cake. Kind of push it down a little bit into my whipped cream, and then we're gonna come with all the rest of the strawberries. Now, if you want to save some strawberries for the top, you can. What's left of our pudding? push them out and I did the lemon juice and all if you don't want the lemon flavor then just squeeze your half of the lemon over it toss them around a few times let them sit for a couple minutes then drain the leftover lemon juice out more whipped cream and spread it out I got a little whipped cream left over. I'm just going to put it in a dish and put it in the refrigerator. We'll eat it with other fruit and stuff. And then remember if you want to save some strawberries, you can put on top just to like a layer. They don't have to be in that juice and stuff that we made. You can just slice the strawberries and just lay on top. Remember you can switch out the pudding and not do the cheesecake. You can do white chocolate, vanilla. But then you would call it the strawberry banana white chocolate trifle. But there you have it. My strawberry banana cheesecake trifle. I'm going to put some clean film over the top. Put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for a couple hours before I serve it. Or you can do it overnight and serve it the next day.